everyone. In this video, we will look at two computational strategies for dividing fractions. To look at these two strategies, we will consider two storage problems. All right? The you may take a minute or two to compare them. And would you use the same strategy for solving them? So let's begin by looking at the first problem. Ari takes one minute to decorate two fifth meter of a walkway. At that rate, how many minutes does he take to decorate 9 tenth meter of the walkway? To solve this problem, I'm going to use a strict diagram. It's good to begin with the showing the 1 meter first, all right? So if this is 1 meter of a walkway, let's consider the 2 fifth meter of the walkway. How am going to do that. We unitize it into 5 equal parts and we want two of them. So this will be two fifth meter of a walkway. All right, so we know that it takes one minute to decorate this two fifth meter. And the question is asking, how many minutes does it take to decorate the whole nine ten? So this is essentially asking how many groups of two fifth meter are in nine ten of a meter. Okay. Right, so this is the how many groups type of division, all right, or we call it repeated subtraction because every two fifth meter form one group, okay, in terms, if you can also model it using multiplication, it's basically asking how many groups of two fifth are in nine ten, right, so it's the multipl multiplier that is unknown. Now, in order to solve this computationally, we can use the common denominator strategy. So it's not easy to see how many two-fifths are in nine-tenths. But if we convert the two-fifths into tenths, you will see that two-fifths, they are actually four-tenths, right? So if we replace the two-fifth meter into four-tenths, they are actually four pieces of one-tenth. Okay, so now it's asking how many four tens are in nine tens. The answer is same as how many four in nine, because the units are the same. So nine divided by four is nine over four, or two and a quarter. And it makes sense. If you take a look, every four tens, it will make one take one minute. And another four ten, another one minute, the last one. Tenth meter will only take a quarter of the minute. So that's why it's two and a quarter. Now let's consider the second problem. This problem is different and it, it's also modeled differently. So this says there are nine, 10 grams of sodium in two fifth of a pizza. So how many grams of sodium are in one whole pizza? So this time I'm going to use a double number line to model. And then we are told two fifth Pizza has 9, 10 grams of sodium. If they have one whole pizza, how many grams of sodium are there? All right. So in this case, this is a, how many grams are in one pizza, right? So it's how many units are in one type of division. So in terms of multiplication, it's the multiplicand that is unknown. It's the how many units in one group that we are trying to find. But in this case, the multiplier is not a whole number. It's only a fraction, all right? So a fraction of the pizza has 9, 10 grams. So you want to find the whole pizza has how many grams, right? So how do we solve this? We are going to use the invert multiply strategy. The invert multiply strategy works is because we know the reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves. Then 2 fifths times 5 halves equal 1. So if we 2 fifths times 5 halves equal 1, then we also need to reason proportionally. 9, 10 grams times 5 halves will give you the answer. So this is the, how it works, right? So the invert multiply strategy means 9, 10 divided by 2 fifths. To get the answer is the same as 9, 10 times 5 over 2. And if we simplify, we can cancel the 5 and the 10. You will get 9 halves times 1 halves, and that gives you 9 quarters. All right, so we have seen 
the two type of word problems involving two different type of division and we use two different strategies. So the common denominator strategy is good for how many groups type of division. The invert multiply strategy is good for how many in one group. With that, I hope this helps. Thank you.